to be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it's noble in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of an outrageous fortune, to take arms against the sea of troubles and by opposing at them, to die, to sleep. By sleep to say we end the heartaches and thousand natural shocks that flesh is hand to. Does a consumption evolve to be wished? To die, to sleep, to sleep a chance to dream. <laughs> I surrender. For in that sleep of death what dreams may come, when we have shuffled off this mortal coil of must, must make us pause. It's the calamity of so long life. Who could bear the whips and scorns of time? The oppressors wrong, the proud man's content, the pangs of despised love, the loves, the lady in silence of office, and the spurns of patient merit of the unworthy takes when he himself mind his creators may go bear, but can who would father his bear? To grunt and sweat under our weary life, but that the dread of something after death, the undiscovered country from whose born no traveller returns, puzzles the will, and makes us rather bear the ills we have to fly through others we know not of. Thus conscious does make cowards of us all. Thus the native fear of resolution is sickled over by the pale cast of thought. An enterprise of great pitch and moment. In this regard, their currents turn or and lose the name of action. Soft, you know. The fear of failure, nymph, and thy horizons be all my sins remembered.